South Florida and Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Tyler Scott now from his end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Here we go. And they'll begin by running the option. And a short gain there, so he'll get it up only to about the 24. From the 24 now, here's second down and seven. A play fake, now fields to throw. Steps away. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves him the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, well, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll took let a, you go. I took a shot. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Back to Foreman on first. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Again, it's Foreman. And the ball is knocked out. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Wow, that ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Go. Off play action, Fields. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, his first throw of the game, gonna be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Tua. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. A run straight ahead with a chin. Now inside the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devon Achan, 60 yards. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. 
And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Now the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is in his first throw of the game, but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Field throw there, complete to Mooney. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Second and 10. One play action. Fields sliding out of the pocket. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Foreman powering ahead. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it second and seven. Here we go, Scott. They run again with Foreman. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. This size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. That is caught, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. To throw his fields. That'll be caught by Foreman. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Fields going to change things up here. Throwing again on second down. Fields. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Now again before them. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. They just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. On fourth down, Fields. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. From the 44-yard line, here's second down of the yard. G, 
They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Two and now on first down. He'll dump this off to A-Chan. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackle. Off of it to an OK game. Calling again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. On third down, here comes Mostert. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. A 51-yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is. But that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers. Literally and figuratively. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. 
And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Kyle Gordon picks it off. And this one will be brought back to the 22. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive? Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goal posts here. First and ten. After the turnover, it's Tua. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Here's second and ten. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. We'll get this into the hands of Braxton Barrios. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Defense was expecting run and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 7 now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. That's going to be caught downfield by Hill. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. 
Two and now on first down. Short throw hauled in by Croft. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Mostert. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there, so that'll bring up second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Tua wants to throw it on second down. And he fires one incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of living behind it. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. Here we go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air, and allows for them to have some success. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. That'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now a toss play. This is Foreman. And down to the 
44, five yards that time. And then the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, Oftentimes, it's not a very successful play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And he's taken in by his big tight end, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On second down, here's Fields. On the move to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. From the gun on third down, Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears' first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Escaping the pressure right. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. Here we go, first and goal. Fields. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. Forced out to his left. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Out. 
Now Tug of Iloa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Watch it, Oscar. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down, and he'll have it by 20 as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. A gutsy decision there going for it on fourth, but they got it, and that likely puts an end to this one. Indeed, it was gutsy because there's so many other options they probably could have exercised in that situation, but they bet on themselves and it paid off.